Hi, hello and welcome, welcome back to another concrete video. Welcome to, to or welcome back rather to Time Survivors, where, as promised, we're gonna do what we do best in these types of games. We are gonna go for an unedited run. And uh right, I played this with the arrow keys because the quasd keys, the QWERTY key configuration that is used for a lot of games, is not that fun when you're playing with an AZT keyboard, actually. Second episode in this game. How are we looking? What are we looking for? We're looking for the use of all our little unlocks. I would love to get an early gem catcher to attract a bit more loot. We are trying to get as many of the new unlocks into this run as we can because we want to explore what else this game has to offer, to off, off, offer right? And then I guess especially like the, the little arrow down here in the bottom is definitely what I'm hyped for and that's an arrow that i am blocking with my camera which i will now move up here while also almost dying uh, let's go for another gem catcher upgrade already picking up all the treasure in the world and right now i am just following this arrow hype to try out some more of this game some more time survivors i've been playing a little bit of soulstone lately on the channel i've been playing a little noita still as i am prone to do but this game kind of fell by the wayside a little bit already again. Uh, I guess this is something we need to destroy or... Seems like it. We really, really need some more weapons. Well, ask and you shall receive. A nice little fireball action. Ooh, we need to wait for our fireballs and only then will we be able... Ooh, yeah. Only then will we will be able to actually succeed and our fireballs also need to hit the right enemies and not just the rats please nice 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 i love how they already pierce quite far give me a fireball upgrade please i i want to destroy this and see what it actually is all about that did a lot of damage to it uh, sure let's go for some more reach i want to maybe try and get the crossbow uh, as a third weapon bruh Bruh. That was uh, not necessarily the best run we have had, but as I have told you guys before, it is a difficult game. I warned you, you know? But I think we need to focus on weapons a little bit more right from the get-go instead of focusing on the gem catcher and stuff like that. And those swarms are just must dodges. That's a nice little upgrade, but it's maybe a little bit early because, well, yeah, now we have quite a lot of boomerangs, but there's not that many enemies, is what I was gonna say. Jesus Christ. All right, we are almost dead yet again. Why Why is this here? Is this just... <laughs> I'm acting a little crazy and a little stupid up in here. I'm being careless. I'm so used to playing Souls and Survivors and just not having a care in the world about almost anything that here, where I actually have to pay attention right from second number one or otherwise I will die. It's quite harder. It's a change of pace. I need to make a change of gameplay. I have a free day of work tomorrow. Might be recording a bunch of other YouTube videos or I hope I will be. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the Tesla coil. We had a lot of success with that last time around. Why are these circles here? Oh, the thing is right in the middle of that. That's what I was afraid of. Right, it seems like once you have triggered these guys that they will just come at you with no remorse. I want to get like two or three more or well another weapon at least. And then I will go for that circuit board upgrade that was there. And try to clear out a little bit of that circle at least that we are trying to get into. Please, rats, just calm down. Let me be sure. A boomerang upgrade, but give me another level as quickly as possible, please. Almost. Uh, it hurts. It physically hurts. Uh, another boomerang upgrade, I guess, but it's not really what we're looking for. We definitely need to get at least one more weapon. Should we go for flail? Yeah, sure. We just need something. I think now we can try and maybe get one more level if possible because these zombie guys drop a bit more experience at once. One more ammo is absolutely fine. Right now for real, the absolute final level. Or no, we are going to pick the upgrade. 
Let's go for a bigger projectile silos. We will pick up the upgrade and try to kill all two. Do they stack? I don't know. Kill this guy first. I don't know why the screen is all of a sudden producing so much epilepsy. I am very sorry to all of you. I, I should legitimately like maybe put a warning up, but I don't want to edit this. But I think, I hope that it will be fine. But there was a lot of lightning and a lot of colors all of a sudden. There we go. We picked it up. Ooh, select a relic. Choose a reward wisely for each benefit comes with a curse to be lifted. You must kill 100 enemies. Until then, you will die instantly when it reward enemies defeated with a critical hit. Give me additional HP. Is that additional or is that just health? It seems like additional. Steel apple. Take no damage for 60 seconds. Your max HP is increased by 50%, but the effect of all healing items is cut in half. I think the vitality shard is cooler. So now we can just not get hit for a while. No, we need to kill 100 enemies. But if we get hit once, we die. Ooh, I did not know we would be locked into a circle. That makes it a bit more difficult. But I need to make sure that we don't get stuck on those walls there. I am dead. <laughs> Alright, one more attempt. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's not easy at all. Maybe it's something more late game focused and I shouldn't be trying it out. But it seems so fun. Give me some more whoops. <laughs> I did not need to do that. Give me some more movement speed is what I wanted to do. Didn't want to refill and everything. Alright. One more attempt. One more attempt for this video. Even if it will be a short video, we are learning this game, you know. We are learning what it's all about. And we have all the time in the world to upload a bunch of videos in it as well. I'm glad that the developer of the game was satisfied with the content I put out in it. He was very satisfied with my kind of review, my thoughts of it, and he realized that I realized what they wanted to do. So that was just a nice experience. I'm glad that I could probably make his day a bit better as a repayment for the amazing influence, impact he had on my day with his question of whether I could play the game on my channel. And I hope it is a, a good sign of things to come. I hope a bunch of people will take it as a sign that like, hey, this Onkrad guy, he kind of is pretty friendly when it comes to reviewing games so maybe he is a great opportunity for us to expand our publicity a little bit to make sure that a lot of more people hear about our game and with a lot more people i mean like two people or something although i must say i think that the first episode of this game kind of got quite a lot of views actually popped off a little bit nothing too crazy but views to be proud of and in general the channel has grown to a point where i am definitely very proud of it and it's just such a great feeling, you know, because it is my passion. It's what I live for. It is my dream. It's something I have invested a lot of time and energy into over the last couple of years. And that is actually paying off right now, which is just such an amazing, indescribably nice feeling. It's the same feeling, I think, as somebody learning to play an instrument and all of a sudden they can play some songs. Or it's the same feeling as when you're learning a sport and you're winning one of some of your first games, you know. It's just such a such an amazing feeling it is unparalleled by almost anything what do we get kill 100 enemies until they you die when hit press space to release a hologram almost all enemies attack the hologram instead of you mm -hmm. resist with lights out for 30 seconds all gems dropped will be cursed and will hurt you if picked up uh, uh, uh sure sure so we can get hit, right? And we need to kill 100 episodes. And only then will we actually get this. Because I thought I was going to press space already. But I was not able to do so. That should, in my humble opinion, be disabled while you're trying this challenge. But that could just be me, right? I have no idea how we are still alive. Oh, we can get hit. Did we kill 100, epi 100 enemies in that short time span? Is that possible? I have no idea what, what happened there, but I am quite satisfied with it, I guess. So now we can drop, by pressing space, we drop a little doppelganger that looks like something straight out of Squid Game. And then the enemies will head over to that doppelganger instead of to us. What's the cooldown on this thing? Oh, 100 kills each time. Uh, I hope that we don't... That we are not vulnerable to the curse every time we are charging up this thing. Because then I will probably not pop it again. Because that is way too dangerous. 
at least at this point of my gameplay mechanics it is still way too dangerous because we still get hit quite often i think a uh, little boomerang upgrade never hurt nobody so now we can drop it again if things get tough it, if things get heated which was already happening a little bit right there because of my own idiot idiocy how have you guys been doing for the rest I wish you guys could answer me, you know, and I, that doesn't mean necessarily that I want to be streaming, although streaming is also fun, but I just wish that there was a bit more interaction here, a bit more liveliness, that you guys were like, hey, yeah, I'll tell him, I'll tell him how my day has been going, I'll tell him the nice things I did today, and I'll tell him the less nice things that happened to me today, the little hologram there, does it help? I think it helped a little bit. I want to get rid of this red as quickly as possible, and I want to get the chest reward, get a little bit of gold out of there hopefully buy more upgrades from the shop there we go just a lot of upgrades or well a lot of gold and a boomerang upgrade definitely what we are looking for there critical chance plus two percent yes sir our boomerang is becoming quite potent and quite strong and i think that right now my main my main priority is going to be roaming around the map a little bit more smashing up some pots not pumpkins but smashing up some pots, collecting some gold and potentially getting some upgrades as well. Some nice little bursts of survivability and energy and also experience because we are able to kill enemies quite quickly. We still have not bought any passive upgrades at all. We have been focusing purely on weapons, but it seems to pay off right now in the early game. And I think that then later, in a bit of the later game, we can actually get into the buying, the purchasing of passive upgrades as well. To develop a nice and balanced run. Ooh, the giant mushroom. Should have probably chilled out at that a little bit until like some crazy things were happening on screen. I also just got myself stuck completely, which doesn't help in the effectiveness of that giant mushroom, you know. Right here. Right here would have also already been amazing to kill all of these ghosts at once, but I guess you can't choose in life. We are getting a lot of experience here right now, though. Let's go for some bigger shots. Let's go for some bigger shots. Let's drop this thing just randomly, just for fun. All in all, this run has some potential. What timestamp did Cerberus spawn at again last time? I don't remember. Level 7, one more upgrade for the Ice Orb and that will be max level. And then we will look further for whether we can evolve it in some way, shape or form or not. I just realized that we could also just be headed over to the next, the next arrow. Great orb to the max level. Speed bolt unlocked. Interesting stuff. Still a lot of new things to unlock. Actually, I thought we already almost depleted the options here in this very, very early access version of the game. But it seems like there's still some fun things to discover. It's exactly what Christopher Columbus probably said before he triggered the murdering and the genocide of an entire race of indigenous American people. Got a little bit too real for you? Well, I have a message for you, man. History is real and history doesn't care about whether you are offended by it or not. Listen to an interesting podcast today while riding my bike about the function of art, of art like literature and visual art and all that stuff when it comes to talking about tragedies and tragedies and talking about the horrific things that we humans have committed like wars and the genocides and concentration camps in the second world war and all that stuff and how most often people are just so focused on the factual details and what actually exactly happened that they often disregard the value of a specific individual individual account of what happened you know an individual perspective an individual perspective on what actually happened, what kind of atrocities were really committed. And it was a very, very interesting podcast, a very interesting perspective on that subject. Because it makes a lot of sense, right? It makes a lot of sense that often we are like listening to the news and we want to know how many casualties there are and what were the reasons behind the conflict and all of that stuff. You must collect 10 gold nuggets until then you will die instantly when hit. Lose gold instead of HP when hit. H 1 HP is 50 gold. Vitality shard. Enemies defeated with critical hit give you HP. I think I will be able not to get hit until I get 100 kills. Especially in combination with using this hologram. I think that will help us out a little bit. Although, if one of those swarms comes up now with the all the yellow small little bat enemies. Then we might still be in trouble. But otherwise, I think because they are now all 
very large enemies that are moving a little bit slower that we are actually absolutely fine little boomerang upgrade to get to level eight that's also great Ooh, some bars in there i wonder if the upgrades are <sighs> there we go purged the curse so now we will get additional hp whenever we kill enemies with critical hits and is it healing or is it just like actual hp that we get is it max hp that we get we have 103 which is quite strange but that might just be because of one of the upgrades we bought in the store i think all these plus symbols here indicate that it is actually just healing and not additional maximum hp points quite sad but what i expected because otherwise it would have been just a little bit too strong i think give me another fireball upgrade i'm focusing on getting all these to level 8 first and then i will look at what passive items i want for now i definitely want to get more and more upgrades into the and more and more upgrades is a bit misleading because well we only have one more level i think in the the little telescope to make our projectiles bigger let's see yeah there we go and now give me the fireball and one more fireball upgrade please absolutely all right radioactive skull unlocked sounds like a very very interesting weapon or passive upgrade whatever it is and the size of our projectiles right now is really is what's gonna carry us through this run a little bit i'm gonna go for armor because getting more experience is not really that valuable anymore because we are already so late into the game or at least that's how i normally play these types of games and these two reds right here are going to give us a whole lot of gold and two free upgrades as well so we will shift our focus to them for a small second how are you guys enjoying this game still does it still look nice are you also as amazed as me about like all the different features and unlocks we still had to explore I thought we were almost done with it already, but nothing seems to be further from the truth. There we go, another armor upgrade. And then if we can just kill this white red bit, another armor upgrade in there, which is very logical because that is the only thing we can get upgrades for right now. And <laughs> here we have the most amazing creature in existence yet again. Let's go for some additional strength. We have a very, very basic build, but it, it is kind of working, you know. I wonder if it will work into the late game as well or if we, the Amoeba we had was more of a late game focused build. Although it does seem like we have been gaining a lot more experience than we did the last run. And we have been or we have achieved a higher level a lot earlier. Cerberus is here. Let's stay calm and collected. Use the ice orbs to our advantage and otherwise just let the projectiles that we throw across the map through do their work without focusing on actively hitting him all too much i'm also just gonna make sure that i keep on exploring the area destroying pots hopefully maybe finding a little magic mushroom a little giant mushroom oh yeah yeah here we go and goodbye servers well not necessarily immediately goodbye but we are definitely dealing a lot of damage or i hope so at least he is quite tanky, this little boy, huh? Again, I really think our amoeba, I'm, uh, uh, our amoeba build was so well suited against this giant enemy. And now we are experiencing the difficulty of not having an amoeba build. Let's just roam around the map looking for more upgrades by destroying pots. And I think that's going to be our best bet at actually being victorious in this battle. Uh, so more strength is what I would like right now, but I don't want to disregard the armor at all. I think it's very valuable and this is going to give me a whole lot of experience again as well. Some more strength, please. Uh, not as much experience as I was hoping for. We can always still drop the hologram in the, to the ground as well. We have not done that for a while. One more strength upgrade and then we will have maximumly completed it. All in all, this run is looking with some decent potential that's for sure cerberus is almost dead i don't know if he dropped anything crazy i also noticed now that we don't have the arrow anymore so i guess the two shrines that we got already are like the only two shrines that you can get don't know how that system works yet still some exploring to do there all in all yeah it's just a nice and clean run Ooh, come over here circuit board help me out with this final chapter of the cerberus story do you guys agree agree with the statement that art shouldn't be so disregarded art like literature and visual art like paintings and stuff sometimes even is the case that people write these heartfelt stories like entire books about their experience in for example the concentration camps and they say something in there like and on that day they destroyed all four of the chimneys 
And ooh, because we already have max upgrades, we get 100 gold for every level up. And people then, historians mainly, are like, mm, this story is not valuable and we can't trust it for a bit because there were never four chimneys in that concentration camp, you know? So immediately, because the information is not completely 100% factually correct, they are immediately like, okay, we need to disregard this source completely. We can't take anything from it for our history teaching. We can't really listen to it at all because some of the things said here are not factually correct. And the person on the podcast, Brigitte is her name, but I don't know her last name, a Belgian scholar in terms of Middle Eastern politics and also in terms of the specific subject. This specific subject, the function of art in like history and in talking about human tragedies and stuff was the subject of her doctorate or her phd a very interesting podcast guest wanted us to realize that that is not the best approach that even if it's not completely factually correct we can still derive a whole bunch of value from those pers perspectives they can make it real they can really tell us about the human suffering that we would otherwise maybe not realize because we are just looking at statistics and just looking at factual information, you know? It is information that is equally as valuable, if not more valuable, than all the facts and all the numbers sometimes. I think that is a very important... very important... opinion to have. Yeah. I think there is a lot of... that makes a lot of sense, in my book at least. Give me this upgrade box. Just a whole bunch of gold. There is another upgrade box in here somewhere, but I don't necessarily know where. Oh no, these guys ended our run last time, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful this time around. And we have solved our question already, or conundrum of whether we would get killed whenever this was charging. It is not the case, and it's okay, because otherwise it would be a no-go forever for the future, because that is just way too dangerous. I want to head over to that apple in the top left there, but I also just don't want to die, so I need to think about these things. And here we go, we unlocked Ape. Cool. I think that's what we can do the next time. And I think I read right there that he starts with the flail weapon, which is awesome. I don't necessarily know how this series is gonna go, how much episodes we're going for in this game, but for now we're just having a blast still and exploring some of the options that it has. These Rufins are dying now, I wonder what comes after it. I wonder if 15 minutes is like the 100% that we are striving towards, or if killing all these Griffins is what we are striving towards, or if we are just gonna die right now and not gonna be able to find out because of all these skulls. I presume it's gonna be the last one. Oh wait, these skulls don't damage us. Alright, so we just need to keep on dodging the Griffins then. It's pretty weird that once you get enough armor upgrades that these skulls don't damage you at all, they become just like annoying, but they don't become potent in any way, shape or form. I think just in general, people should start relying a little bit less. Oh, there we go, we unlocked the second map, I think. People should in general just realize that factual information having the facts and the information about what actually happened and stuff is not always the most valuable it's not always exactly what we should be completely striving towards without any other goals being available because sometimes just personal information emotional information is so much more important and so much more valuable to hear to discover to learn about and people should realize this in their own lives their own private lives as well that you can't always approach everything from a cognitive standpoint from a rational standpoint sometimes you have to listen to those emotions even if they sound a little bit irrational you know if they sound a bit crazy they can often tell you a whole bunch of things that your rational cognitive brain doesn't want to tell you but that you definitely need to hear uh, excuse me double cerberus action not really what i expected but i guess We'll go for it. In the meantime, I'm going to look for upgrades for sure, though, but because a nice little giant mushroom, magic mushroom, would really, really hit the spot right about now. Or another one of those circuit boards, just any type of upgrade, really. And those are, like, the only single types of upgrades that I was not really looking for, because I don't need any levels still, but I'm still not going to look a given horse, a gifted horse in the mouth. 
another apple we are very tanky so we can just roam through these bucket heads without worrying too much but i am desperately desperately looking for a potent an influential and impactful new upgrade some gold some gold two more magnets uh oh all right now we have another new enemy type and they seem to be dealing quite a lot of damage i think this is it can we still get out of here no we cannot we can definitely not ah damn all right a lot of unlocks here again uh, did we still not achieve 100% or did we actually achieve 100% because we... Hello, ape. Let me buy you so I can play with you next time. We still didn't unlock 100%, but we unlocked this map, but it's not in a demo. So next episode, we're just headed into the dark age yet again. Let's buy some more upgrades. Give me some more strength, please. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Still enjoying Time Survivors. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.